scenarios. It's like, well, I wouldn't cover the topic because the person isn't cheating. It's like, that should be, that doesn't even need to be said, <laughs> right? And, and so there's obviously that. I'm not going to cover a topic when I know that the person's not cheating in this particular case and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, what an intro is that? Now, let me just start out by this, all right? I took a couple videos because this one only coincided with the video that he currently put out just recently. Now, I'm no hacker hunter, and I can't sit there and say I know about every single cheat in the world because that's just not my thing. Doctors hang around doctors, lawyers hang around lawyers, and, well, hacker hunters hang around each other, and I am just not one of those people. I'm a person who likes to question. I'm not here to sit there and call anybody out their name or tell them what they are and what they are not, but I'm here to ask questions. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are smart enough to understand that you got brains and you know something stinks when it stinks. So me putting both of these videos together to create one is just a question of why would you say that if you believe that, right? Because it just doesn't seem right. So bear with me for a sec. I just have to point out that, look, I'm no hacker hunter. I don't deserve that title. What I'm doing here is just trying to understand why a person of the stature who has a high sub count, who has a lot of power, which he knows he does, would sit there and go back on his word in some way or another. There is no agenda being pushed here. It's just questions. I would prefer, even if I did think they were cheating, I'd have to have significant evidence, essentially bulletproof evidence, if I'm going to go ahead and slander somebody's name, which I don't think as many people care about that. They care about the clickbaitiness, the title, the attention grab, and then they might even pass it off of as, what do you think, when in reality, they're kind of already pushing this agenda without irrefutable bulletproof facts because obviously I'm a data analysis decisions a lot of times those way into it it can't just go based off feels like they're cheating well he's got a point there when he's right he is right you can't go based off what you feel but then that would negate a lot of people today because technically aren't they out there doing things to themselves because of how they feel like little kids that think they're cats yeah beside the point let me just point something out here when a YouTuber does a video on somebody else, they want to do things for a certain specific reason. And I think Jay God in all his infinite wisdom just wants to point out certain things, correct? So what he's doing here is just kind of pointing out certain things, which in the next video he also points out other things, basically being informative. But the problem here is, is somewhat, somewhere along the lines, it more or less, well, seems like it's defensive. Again, you can't go by what you feel. But let's take the facts in. There will be some stuff that I'm going to point out, and no pun intended to J-God, because after all, I'm not here to sit there and ridicule. I'm sitting here to trying to understand why you would say one thing, but yet do another. And I'm pretty sure all you guys out there think the same. So let's move on with it. The other is I know the power I have as a creator. Even though we generally have a more positive community than some of these drama farmers. So what he's saying does hold validity. When things ain't right, you just gotta question them. Sort of like when your government does certain things, you gotta question that. In that case, if anybody wanted to talk to the president about the certain things that are going on in this country, you would be obliged to sit there and ask him questions, wouldn't you? So in the same sense, we have a little bit more access to J-God, so when something just isn't right, you would rather have that man speak up. You see, they really don't listen to people like us, including myself. They listen to more guys like this. Although I understand why he doesn't sit there and ask certain questions that we may ask, because he wants to be in good standing like Bobby Poff does. But this man is a smart man, and I'm pretty sure he can go around things and say things that sound smooth as butter, correct? Let's move on. Probably over 20 times I've had videos made about me from various people using my name because they know, oh cool, if I make a negative video about Jay Gott, it's gonna give views. At a certain point, People were doing this for loadout videos too. J God's loadout, and it would automatically get more views. Sir, you very much are correct in this area. You see, people do use your name for a lot of negative, but let me just tell you this. When you make a video about somebody, people tend to listen because that's the reach that you have. So that said, when you make videos on Bobby Poff somewhat defending, well then people get the other idea. It seems like it's biased, which before you said you weren't biased. 
it still seems like you're pushing the narrative that you said other people like to push, right? Let's move on. There's a bunch of people that have been permanently banned in Warzone um, that uh, people are aware of. Obviously, Wagnificent's probably the one of the most notable. Uh, Bad Boy Beaming got permanently banned. That's how he started his content with his channel. Five by Five got banned. Call Call of Shame's main account got permanently banned. Uh, we got Bams. Uh, he got permanently banned. He said it was account sharing as well. Uh, Torva Paysetter back in the day. It's Hoppa. Now he's a hacker hunter too. A lot of times, if they're a hacker hunter, usually their their previous account got permanently banned. If, if you look for their original account, it, it doesn't exist. Now what he states here is facts. All these people have been banned. The difference is, is well, some of these guys can be questionable. But let's push all that aside. Why particularly talk about Bobby Poff's case in particular? You see, as much as you say it's not a narrative, it feels kind of like you're pushing the narrative, huh? Again, I don't say none of this in hate. I'm just asking questions. And I just want to point out this one other thing. You do understand that the FBI has actually used real hackers that turned around to use them in the FBI in general. Now, I'm not sitting there saying that every person that was a hacker hunter is the goodest person at all now, but who else would know more than them? Just saying, let's move on. I think there's a lot of information that kind of gets lost, but it really just depends on kind of where you're coming at it from. Clearly he got permanently banned, so there's something going on with the account. So we'll kind of look into that based off kind of what he's saying, what I've heard from Activision on their end, and kind of put together kind of what my general thoughts on this. So now we move on to his current video. He says that he has talked to Activision or got information from them, but unfortunately in this video, I didn't see any of that information. The information that we have i believe this guy probably has a little more information than what we do but if we just go by face value we go by what bobby says and what is the first thing that he says well the first thing that we all heard was i've been permanently banned with that said you guys gotta understand that the more you talk and then he has said something about having lawyers involved and what do lawyers always tell you to do shut up quit talking but you know Bobby, he feels like he needs to sit there and explain himself because, well, the more you explain yourself, the less you look like you're truthful. So, the information that he has is the information that we have. He's been banned for unauthorized software. Let's move on. So it's four or five weeks. Uh, ideally, you would get on, load up, level up all your guns, and then you do your camos. Problem for Bobby Pop is he's a streamer who his audience pretty much only watches it from Battle Royale, Warzone, and Warzone only. So if he switches to do his camo grind, he can lose thousands of dollars. The image on the screen is Lego Unlocked. I used to be this guy's thumbnail maker, and this guy is almost near 800,000 subs. This guy right here fortunately got his name just through camo unlocks alone. To sit there and say that you're not going to build a name for yourself or to lose thousands of dollars is possible, but it's not for certain. And many people like you admit it said metaphor actually does it and if metaphor does it who's making who actually has way more subs well then bobby pop could do it also it seems like just an excuse at this point let's move on in the tos it says that you're responsible for what happens on your account regardless if you're on your account so by the process of you sharing your account you better be sharing it with someone trusted which i think if you're going to let someone grind your camos you're hoping they're going to be trusted in this particular case, he's saying that he let them grind the camos during those months. Uh, so he's done this for multiple years, probably going back to Cold War, I would imagine. And here we are, the defensive part where it seems as though you're trying to defend them. Activision Terms and Services right here. Boosting services, hiring somebody to grind for your camos or achievements falls under boosting, which is also prohibited. There it is right there. I mean, come on. And I'll put a short little clip of this uh, all saying it right on their site right here. Let's move on. And pause here if you want to read all this stuff. I'm just going to just fast forward. But nobody will ever know. I mean, you kind of got to take it as face value. If, if he's saying that, hey, you know what? I've never cheated. Uh, I think this is what happened. I shared my account. He's being honest about that portion. Uh, which I don't think he's ever hit in that portion. Now this one's a doozy. Let me just point this out right here. If in fact other people actually pay a service, that would mean other people would get permanently banned. 
Let me say that again. If the people that he mentioned or whoever it may be pay other people to go and grind camels on their account, that would mean other people would be permanent banned. So therein lies a lie. What it seems like to me, you tell me. So if you enjoyed this video, I could make it longer, but I thought I'd just cut it off right here. Don't forget to hit the like, hit that sub, and I do appreciate anybody that's ever stopped by. I do stream, I just haven't streamed lately. So if you wanna be a part of the streams, hey, come and join. Or if you wanna join my second channel where I just fish and e-bike around and just bore you with my life, go basically IRL, then come by and do that too. But please do hit the like, hit the sub, and very much appreciate all the support that I've been getting. And shout out to the people who actually been putting all this stuff out here. It's your boy here, Bobby Pop Gaming, with another Wolf Zone gameplay. What are you doing?